Radford pears. You see the trees across the city and many areas of the Tennessee Valley. Kind of makes you want to sneeze mm -hmm. if you're allergic to them, doesn't it? <laughs> Yesterday in three in your town, we told you a little bit about their downside, as pretty as they are. Channel 3 meteorologist Nick Austin talked with a tree expert trying to find out more about why these trees are bad for the environment. Answer that question, Nick. Well, Greg, besides bad odor and weak limbs, the Bradford pear has become a threat to native trees and animals. It's a problem that began in the U.S. several decades ago. In the mid-1960s, the U.S. Department of Agriculture introduced Bradford pear trees into the country as decoration. Chattanooga City Forester Gene Hyde says they thought it would be the perfect tree for all situations. It had beautiful white blossoms, uh, didn't have any insect or disease problems but uh, that was only half the story. The other half is that the Bradford pear, a cultivated offshoot of the calorie pear, isn't structurally sound. Over time, the two main branches grow closer together, closing this V-shaped area where they meet. This leads to rot and decay, making the trees vulnerable to heavy rain and wind. After 15, 20 years, it's very common to see them after a summer thunderstorm to split and break into pieces. While fragile in some ways, it's been easy for Bradford pears to grow quickly and across large areas with the help of natural fertilizer. As the birds eat the seeds and they fly away, wherever it is that they stop and poop or if they're flying they poop, wherever that lands. Bradford pears have become so overpopulated through the years they've become invasive, crowding out native trees and plants and threatening local ecosystems. Native trees will support uh, insects and wildlife and vertebrate animals and so forth. The Bradford pear just doesn't do that. Hyde says with no enemies to keep its population in check, Bradford pears will continue to be a problem if people plant them. If, if people buy them, you're just asking for a problem. Now Hyde says most nurseries and garden centers no longer sell Bradford pears. As substitutes, he recommends native choices such as dogwood, redbud, and serviceberry. Live in the studio, I'm meteorologist Nick Austin, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Nick.